before the video starts, I just want to say we are doing a 100 plat giveaway and a Mag Prime giveaway. So if you want Mag Prime, just tell me in the comment section down below, put your Xbox Gamer tag and uh, also what you would like to win, either the 100 Platinum or Mag Prime. Now we are only doing one for each person, so two winners this month and uh, yeah, hope you guys win. Good luck. Yo guys, what's going on? It is me, KLV. Now, in today's video, I'm going to show you a really good Octavia build. Now, I use this Octavia build because Octavia is a really good frame to play because she has infinite damage, and when it's built correctly, it can work so well. And I, and I love Octavia because of how her whole kit is, and her all of her abilities are all useful. There are some frames in Warframe where all of it where like some of their abilities just aren't used. For example, in Naris is like uh, Tornado thing. No one really uses that. But with Octavia, all of her abilities are useful. So let's get with the abilities. So first is Mana. Now, I'm sorry if I do say any of these words uh, incorrect. I'm not the best at reading. Now, Rhythmically beats damage into nearby enemies and draws their fire damage inflicted on the Mana. Increases its lethality. So basically, when the enemy does damage to this ball right here, then that will then take that damage and then do damage to enemies. So now, this only works if obviously if the enemy shoot at it. Now, so it sometimes it can be good, sometimes it can't. For DPS, obviously, Seren is going to be better. I do have a Seren build, so make sure you go, go check that out. But basically, how this works, like I've said, the more damage that the enemies do to it, the more damage you're going to do to it. That what is absolutely amazing. So now, Resonator is basically a ball that will pick up the mana and then travel with it. Now, this increases the basically the range on it technically because this is going to be moving around. And then also what it does, it makes the enemies go after the ball as well. So it's really good to use. Now next is Metronome. Now this basically does increase, it gives you buffs what are very good to use. Now there's three, you got the speed buff, multi-shot, melee damage, and the invincibility one. If you crouch to the beat of whatever you got set up, then when you finish the crouching or whatever you want, what buff you want to get in, then you will go invisible to what well, you have to go with the beat so now this is what I recommend having is just having a straightforward one if you want to have a like DPS or just a spam uh, build so basically what we'll just do is just basically keep be, uh, be able you to just keep spamming and spamming and spamming and then you'll get it in no time so the last ability is amp now what this will do is it will Increase the radius of all of your abilities, increase your duration. What this will do is increase your radius and it will increase your damage multiplier, what is very good. Now you always want to have all of these abilities up at all time, no matter what. If you have the energy, you always want to have them. Also, Octavia's passive is that if you have one ability out or basically just ability out, then you will get a like basically energy siphon every now and then. So basically, I'll show you right here. So when I put one energy, one uh, ability out, you see in the top right, I've got a uh, buff. Now this is called inspiration, and what this will do is then make me get energy over time if you look in the bottom right. So now let's get to the build. So now the build that I run on Octavia is this. So we have organ message for the duration, and also we can get some uh, a little bit of a uh, shield so that's very nice to have I always recommend having organ message as uh, having over shield now is really good especially because of you can't get one shot and other shield stuff now so next is a prime continuity for more duration streamline for the efficiency uh, prime flow for the energy blind rage for the strength overextended for the range and also vitality for the health and we have power drift. Now, I, I, I personally like having enemy radar, it's just a personal preference for me. You don't have to have it, you could have like energy siphon if you want to, but I personally just like having enemy radar on. So that's the build that we have. We also have Arcane Energize. If you don't have it, doesn't really matter. If you have a Xenoric or whatever, then that would just be fine. So now, let's show you on how exactly everything works. So now we do have a couple of enemies to show you on now heavy gunners do take a while to die but this is just to show you on how exactly this all works so when we throw our ball down you see here it's not doing no damage let's throw it over here and I'll show you so you see here it's not doing no damage at all because no enemies have shot at it so now if we unpause these for you and then they're gonna shoot at it and I'll show you 
So if you see here now they are starting to take damage by it because they're doing damage to it. Now this can go on forever and you see here now we are doing a lot of damage and clear them really quick. So now when we throw our ball thing down that is going to help it. We'll throw our amp down to increase the range of it and the damage multiplier will spawn more of these in. And you see here now we are doing quite a lot of damage to them to be honest. So now obviously you're going to be in your invincibility most of the time and they're not going to be shooting at you so your ball is going to be doing all of the damage if we just throw that um, mallet down there we go now it's doing lots of damage to them because of the mallet now you will lose this build in like if say you want to do a defense or survival I've seen a lot of people do this in like arbitration survivals are really good because you can be invisible the whole time and you can just do a lot of damage now obviously the arbitration drones are going to be really annoying but it doesn't matter because you're going to be invisible and you can just bat 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 with whatever sword you got or whatever uh, weapon you got. So now I hope you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe, it will be very much appreciated and uh, see you guys later, peace out.